Over the weekend, Iran released a video of the USS Eisenhower. They said one of their drones flew over it. Um, yeah, if you look at the footage and you don't do any investigation, there take it is. It, you are kind of uh, jaw dropped about how close they got to this. This is crazy. Uh, you, uh, I guess YouTube is shutting us down right now for showing this video. <laughs> it might be. Who cares about YouTube? So, uh, yeah, this looks like... Well, you, can, you can see the sailors on the deck. You can actually make out the actual yes. inscriptions on the planes. Look at that. This That's how man. close that drone was. That's an Iranian drone flying over the USS Eisenhower. Now, of course, the implication was that they did this just within recent days, mm -hmm. that they flew this drone over. Is that true? No, I was able to look up uh, the maintenance record for the Dwight D. Eisenhower, and uh, it was actually, it's at Northbrook, uh, Northbrook, Virginia, right now. Norfolk. For Ethan, Norfolk. Norfolk. <laughs> but it's, I've uh, been that's, there that's for a while. It's Norfolk. I, I defer to you. You're the yeah. expert on the lingo with it. But they, uh, they come back to rearm. Uh, this actually, they, they were in the region, along actually by the Strait of Hormuz in 2016. And, uh, of course, they could be redeployed to that region, but the footage itself made it appear that they're, they're there right now. Okay, so if, if, the, if Iran did that in 2016, that means that they had the capability over two and a half years ago. Right. And we're just finding out about it now. Yes. That's the real truth behind the truth here. Yeah. I know not, the media is going to say, oh, that's old. The Iranians are fooling you. That's old video. Still there. Yes. Yeah. They're showing us now what they were capable of doing two and a half years, years ago. Years ago and if yes. they can fly a drone over the Dwight D. Eisenhower, they can also hit it with a drone. They can hit it with an explosive drone, for example. These are the, the Iranians, they don't have cruisers and frigates, but they do have drones and little patrol boats, which we can use. Drones and little patrol boats, which we can use for war. The little patrol boats. Yes. The little inflatable dinghies that yes. just come up to a ship at night with a bomb in it. Right. Because big warships are almost, uh, I mean, they're, they're vulnerable to it. Yeah. I believe it was the USS Cole right off the coast yes. of Yemen. That's how uh, they that did was it. A, that was a boat loaded with right. explosives. Blew a hole in that ship. And what do you do if a swarm of boats come out? Well, you have a sunk uh, carrier right. at that point. I mean, I, I don't think Americans can fathom losing it. We haven't lost a carrier since World War II. Yes. That's right. So um, I, I think that video is, is uh, I think it's chilling uh, that Iran got that close to an American warship with a at drone. least once, and they're bragging. And I, I you know, I have no idea uh, how accurate it is, but uh, the commander of the Iranian Army Ground Force Drone Unit, General uh, Hassanajad, Hassanajad, uh, said that Iran is in the top five drone powers in the world. Now, do you know where they got the drone technology? Well, I'd say us. Then they, uh, they actually were forced uh, landing of one of our drones to be about four or five years ago. At this they point. took control. They electronically took control of one of our drones and brought it down mm. and then reverse engineered it. But the fact that they were able to electronically seize control of the drone and fly it to the ground and make a soft landing, that was pretty amazing in itself. Yeah, you know, one thing that our viewers and listeners need to understand about this situation with Iran is we're not dealing with some sort of backwoods, oh, no. you know, uh, power that you'll barely out of the Stone Age. Iran is capable of long range missile strikes. They have a formidable uh, Navy presence there in the Strait. The Iranian Guard is no joke. Uh, Logically advanced, they are not going to be a pushover. No. And any conflict that go, we go into with them, Rick, is not going to be. We oh well, you know, we're 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 chasing them through the it's caves. It's not going to be Iraq. Desert. It's not going to be Iraq. It's not it's going to be Iraq and or Afghanistan. This is going to be a a technology war that's See, coming up. They're not the Iranians. They're the Persians. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, as in the Persian Empire. Yes. That ruled for thousands yes. of years. Yes. They've been around. They're in the Old Testament Bible. Right. They've been around for a long, long yes. time. They're called the Persians. And the United States is itching for a war with the Persians because America's puppet master, Israel, mm. wants to use American soldiers, American blood to fight Israel's enemies. American sanctions. Yes. That's, well, it's, hey, I said it. Israel 
uses American soldiers' blood to fight Israel's wars. Someday, Americans, you're going to stop giving your sons up to Israel.